Hey everyone, I'm Kim. I run Rainy Day Rags. It's my online fashion and lifestyle presence. So I have an Instagram and a YouTube channel and a blog I occasionally load content onto. So check those out if you're interested or if you like what you see in this video. I do um, some other kinds of more vlog style videos every so often where I go traveling or on hikes or camping or just show you fun things around my condo. So click the subscribe button if you want to see more content like that or give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like, um, and let's get into this video. Today, I'm gonna have a bit of a play around with a new accessory I've just added into my closet. If you watched a video that I put out a couple of weeks ago on um, 12, I think it's like 12 outfits for winter or something like that, I talk in that video about having watched Sammy Jeffcoat and her use of harnesses in her wardrobe. If you're not familiar with Sammy, one, check her out. She's probably one of my favorite Instagram, TikTok fashion influencers. Her style is so unique and so creative and she's just like, I love her. I think she's fantastic. And she is really known for kind of this more like rock and roll glam, not like, not like glam rock, but like very fashionable, very high end rock and roll vibe. Um, and she also has her own brand. They make uh, harnesses and scarves so far. She's not the first person to make harnesses and like more of that kind of um, rock and roll, grunge rock, punk rock aesthetic popular, but she's probably the most popular person doing it right now. And she's just amazing. So I've seen her wearing a harness for about a year now, and I have always really liked that aesthetic as well but it's not something that I naturally gravitated towards. I would say that I definitely have a bit of an edge to my more feminine outfits. I definitely like leather jackets and boots and things like that. And I have always really liked the look of harnesses, but a harness can feel really like BDSM. It can feel really hard rock, hard punk. And that's like, I mean, it's not that I don't have any issue with either of those things. Um, and I actually really like punk rock and I live in Seattle, so like enough said there. Um, but like, it's just, it's very difficult to know how to incorporate something like a harness into your style if what you're not going for is that very like sexed up BDSM look or if you're not really like into the punk goth scene. Um, I look at the harness and I think, oh, it's so cool. Am I cool enough to do it? Can I make it feel authentic to me? And that's really what I want to do in this video is um, take a harness that I got. I bought it off of Amazon. It was like $20 harness. But I just wanted to have a play. I just wanted to take some time to go through my closet, to look through the internet and find some fashion inspiration and think about like how can I start incorporating this thing that I've always really liked. So that's what we're doing. We're playing today. It's just a lot of fun. Um, so I'll show you the harness. This is, it like, doesn't look like much. Um, I'll insert the clip of it from Amazon. So it, it's just this harness, it's like a little simple, these loops go over the back, I'll just try it on right now. So it fits over the back like this, and then it comes around the front. There are lots of different styles of harnesses you could get, but this is the one that I chose to try. And then it's just got this extra looping stuff here that you can play with and buckle right this. So this is of other different styles. Some have like more of a corset belting. Some have like thicker belts that go here. I wanted one that sat down a little bit lower on my natural waist. You can have other ones that are higher waisted like here. Um, you can have ones that just kind of go around the neck. Like there's just tons and tons of different styles of harnesses. So I thought this was a good first attempt if I do find that I am pulling this out a bit and like really find that I feel comfortable with it, I do want to buy one of the harnesses that Sammy's brand Ardero makes because yeah, I just want to spend a little bit more money on invest in something that I really like and enjoy. And I want to support her because she's given me so much inspiration over the last year that I've been following her. Okay. So that's the harness and I've, I'm gonna pop some of these pictures up on the screen as I talk about them, but I went through Pinterest and Google Images and Sammy's account and Instagram, and I really looked for images that felt, that drew me in, um, that felt like an outfit that I might already wear, and then the harness was a part of that outfit. 
there's some really cool looks that I came across that I want to try out. And I think this will be the easiest one to start with. Um, I'm going to pop this up on the screen. But what I'm looking at right now is this um, striped, I don't have an off the shoulder shirt, but it's a striped shirt and it's got like a little bow tie around the neck. It's very cute. It's kind of like French punk is how I might describe this. Um, I really, really like this look. And I'm just going to keep these black jeans. So. Okay, striped shirt. And I don't have, um, I have one scarf that would work for this, but I didn't really like the colors with this shirt. So I'm actually going to use this um, tie from a dress that I have and wear frequently. Um, and this will just be the scarf that goes around my neck. But let's get this harness on first and adjust it because I think this is going to take a little bit of figuring out. So let's see. Okay, well, so I do kind of like this thicker, um, I do like this kind of thicker middle like wraparound section. I mean, you could kind of bunch these up and make it thin and kind of sit at your natural waist so it works more as like a waist belt, um, but I kind of like this almost thicker feel to it. Let's get this in there, see how that works. And I really like a scarf like this in contrast to the stripes. Um, if you have watched any of my other videos, you probably are well aware that I, that's not the way to do it, um, that I am a big fan of um, mixing and matching prints. And so something like a floral and a stripe mix is really like up my alley. So that's fun. Okay, can you even do this? There, did it go? I actually think that's quite cute with the little neck thing. I mean, I would probably want to figure out a better way to tie this all together. But I like, this is a pretty cute little look, I think actually. Um, I wonder, tucking it in, these pants are just not high waisted enough to really like warrant tucking it in. Like if I tucked it in all the way around, I don't think it would do quite the same thing. Um, although I could really use a belt for these pants. They don't fit as well as I'd like. Um, okay, so what if we then tried just kind of thickening up that band a little bit as well, like just shoving everything kind of up and stacking it. Okay, so there it is. I just, it's a lot of, um, the bits are quite long and, um, and so sometimes to prevent them from moving around or if you want to kind of keep it more in this compact, put together way, I just looped them through these like little uh, rings here to just kind of keep them in place a bit more and then just layered the plastic over each other. This is a bit more streamlined. I, I kind of like the more crisscross thicker statement section in this one, but anyway. I think this is really cute. Um, I would wear this with some boots and maybe my leather jacket. Let me grab that. Okay. So then put the leather jacket over it. It's actually pretty subtle. Um, hmm. I kind of like it without. Yeah, I quite like this. This is cute. So look number one. I think the little French version is a lot um, sweeter with the off the shoulders. Um, I think that'd be really cute, but, um, especially if we had like a high waisted pants in that, that'd be really adorable, but this is a good first start. So let's try another one. This time I am going to try, let's see. Okay. I'll show you this one. This is the first one I came across the one that I was like, 
Okay, yeah, I think it's really doable where you can wear it and it's almost like, it's just really interesting on her. I think this is a great picture. Um, I'm gonna pop it right up here. But, um, so let's try it with a dress. And I kind of like, this tarnish will be really great for this because of the long um, pieces. Okay, so this is my like, I think this is from Mango. Uh, this like chambray style dress and it's the closest thing I have to what the woman in the picture is wearing um, and it's very much a me dress I wear this a ton so let's see if we can make this work definitely a bit of a different style dress to what she has but okay and then here Obviously, she has more of a crisscross across the chest. Um, again, she's wearing a different harness, but I think um, I think this could work. Well, how do we want to do this? Okay, well, it's not perfect, and again, you would need to fiddle with it a little bit. Her dress is longer than mine, but I think this is a nice look, actually. And again, something I might like decide to wear out. Yeah, her dress is a lot longer than mine, and she's just kind of got this casually tied around the bottom. So, um, but not bad. Like, it's a pretty good inspired by situation, I think. Um, I would want to figure this out a little bit better, but I think it's totally fine for now. And then the question is, what would I wear it with? I think I would just pair it with a Doc Martens, um, give it a little bit of edge without being too hard. And that's kind of what I like about this very like soft denim, kind of almost like J. Crew vibe dress paired with these like very punk accessories. Um, it just gives it a lot more interest and edge. Um, but if I wanted to keep it, if I wanted to keep it more feminine, what I would probably do personally <laughs> is I might pair it with my, um, my leopard print flats, especially in summer, um, when the boots are really heavy and a little sweatier. Um, these might be kind of like a fun, unexpected throw in there. It's probably a lot of look for a lot of people, but for me, this is pretty awesome. The other thing you could do is um, a simple pair of like black leather sandals, and that would be great too. So I could try it with one other dress and see how I like that, because I think that is probably even more so than this. I think the dress that I'm gonna try next is like probably very much my speed and style. Okay, this outfit might be my favorite. Um, <laughs> So far, there's more outfits to come. But this dress is very much one of my favorite dresses. It's very easy and more feminine than I would normally go. And so whenever I do wear this dress, I do already tend to kind of make it a little bit edgier by adding a thick black belt around the waist, a different one that I wear frequently, and then adding like my leather jacket or like leather boots with it. Um, I'm just very, like this is very much what I already do when I'm wearing this dress. Really the only thing that I've added is like some shoulder straps. <laughs> like I've just added the other half of the harness cause I already always wear it with a black belt. So really nothing is different about this outfit than what I already do. And I think that's a great thing to keep in mind is um, if you're trying to incorporate a harness, maybe think about those outfits in which you already wear 90% of the thing, like what you're doing is adding these shoulder straps. And for some reason, this puts it in the camp of like too edgy or something like that. So I don't know, it feels like a baby step. You know what I mean? Like I'm just putting a little bit further out there, but I'm not going way out there. And so it feels very comfortable and natural to me. And I think that's um, important when you're first starting to do something or with anything in fashion. If you're not used to wearing color, start with just a small amount of color, something that's like, just a little bit and then you work your way into these um, more full expressions of whatever it is you're trying to incorporate into your style. This is the baby stuff um, and I love it. So I think I will be wearing this to 
um, a dinner I'm going to on Wednesday because I just, I really, really enjoy it and it feels appropriate for the occasion. Okay, so that stresses. Um, obviously you can pair it with any number of dresses, but it's just nice to have a few go-to in my closet that I already know I feel comfortable in and that sort of work with my style. So the next outfit I saw, it's super classic. It's like the very obvious go-to. Um, this woman here, she's just wearing black pants and a white top with her harness over it. Her harness is a bit more like a short-waisted one. Um, but I think that I would probably do something just a little bit dressier for me. So let's, let's see what I have. I mean, this is really simple. I want to try this with pants and I want to try this with shorts. Okay. Okay, this outfit to me is just kind of boring. It's not that there's anything wrong with it or that I don't do classic black and white, but it is just... It's kind of boring. Normally I would tuck it in, but um, I, I know from experience that this shirt is a little like weird when, um, when it's tucked into these pants. So typically if I was gonna tuck it in, I would probably do something where I would like cross it and tie it and like, anyway, I think for the purpose of this styling, the way that I'm hoping to wear it with the harness, it'll be better if it's out. I think it'll also be more interesting if it's out. So it's a little different than the picture that we saw as inspiration, but I just, I know how this shirt works. So, and I think I have a vision for this particular look. So I think what is nice about starting with a very base outfit like this is something like a harness just immediately adds a level of interest that you don't get with other styles. So here we are again. And I think I want to go with this more like crisscrossed vibe this time. A little bit more like what we did in the beginning. And I think that gives it more of a corseted feel to it. Um, and then this shirt, you just got to kind of play with it. Yeah, so with this shirt, the way that this shirt is, I just need to like almost create sort of a dark folding with it. So it lays properly. That feels a lot cooler, like instantly cooler. And I'm gonna throw on a pair of Sam Edelman heels. And I think that doing that would make this a very like sophisticated, yeah, like sophisticated and sexy. I think this is a great going out to dinner kind of a look. Again, it's nothing groundbreaking in the sense of like, it's a black pant and a white button up shirt. Everybody owns it and it's a classic look. Um, and oftentimes it's boring unless you find some like textures or kind of ways of styling it that are really interesting. So this to me is actually really, really cool. Um, I saw another picture that I'll insert here that I'm, I'm not necessarily using as primary inspiration, but was one of the pictures I saw that I was like, that's an easy to pull off look. And it's this, it's basically this. It's kind of a sexier, yeah, it's kind of a sexier vibe. What do you think? Um, would you wear this to dinner? I like, think it's really cool actually. Yeah, I kind of like this a lot. Okay, I want to try this with shorts, and I think that's going to be more of the, like, tucked-in situation. So, let's do that. I don't have to take the harness off this time. Okay, so this is a bit more of the like high-waisted situation that the original inspiration picture was about. I need to adjust this back one, I think. Um, and in this situation, I think I am going to feed this through my belt loops first because I think that'll help the harness stay in place a little bit better. That's kind of a nice option to do here. So that's that. 
I'm really liking this. Like, this is fun. It's fun to finally, I don't know, finally try something that I've been really admiring and liking for a long time. Um, fashion can sometimes take courage, especially when you are interested in things that maybe aren't as mainstream. But that's what self-expression is about, right? Okay, I think this works, but not quite as well. Um, and I think it's because there's just too much like looping going on here. Um, in the original image you saw that she had, it was actually a little higher up, more like a high-waisted harness versus a natural waist belt. And so I think that looked really good. I've also seen harnesses where they actually have like three belts that go across or two belts that go across uh, or just one. I think any of those are better options than just like lots of wrapping and stuff um, for this particular situation because I don't think it's adding any kind of interesting detail to this situation. I think it would be better to just have straight across. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. I just think I don't know. It's not bad. I don't think it's bad. It is definitely cool, but I think I would prefer a slightly different harness buckling situation happening. But this by no means, it's not bad by any means. And again, it's still pretty cool and sophisticated. I would pair it with, I could see myself pairing it with my dear Francis riding boots. Um, I think that would be quite an interesting combination. Um, especially because, I think this is an interesting combination because the, um, the riding boots have these buckly feelings like straps and stuff on the, uh, around the calf and around the foot. And so I think that it kind of ties in with the harness and the loops. So I think this is kind of, um, like equestrian girl dominatrix <laughs> a little bit, which again, I'm not trying to go two in that like BDSM dominatrix style, like I don't want to take it there. Which do you prefer? Do you prefer it with the pants more, like that styling? Or do you like it this way? And what if I, um, well if I untuck it then I can't loop it in quite the same way, but we'll try that really quickly. I'm gonna just try that look again. Okay, I actually really like this again, kind of, um, I don't know, a bit more cool girl, I think, the undone look. About rolling up the sleeves. Okay, yeah, I think you'd want to play with it just to make sure it's sitting in the right way, because um, the shirt has excess material, so you just need to make it lay right. But I like this. I think I like this a little bit better than the tucked in version. Okay, so which do you prefer, the pants or the shorts, tucked in or untucked? Let me know. Okay, so that's more or less the inspiration images that I found and like trying to recreate those. But there are two more outfits that I wanna try from my closet that are like outfits that I really enjoy wearing and I just wanna see if the harness with those things feels comfortable and authentic um, because I think that they would be really fun. Okay, this is <laughs> Maybe more of a work outfit um, and I wanted to see if I could find a way to make the harness feel somewhat work appropriate and so we're gonna try it with this um, sometimes usually I just wear like again this idea of I just wear a black like leather belt around my midsection to draw attention here make this area feel smaller and so really again the only thing we're doing is just adding a couple of extra straps that go over your shoulders, almost more like suspenders. So it really shouldn't feel that different. Um, also adds a little toughness to an outfit that to me feels a bit feminine. I mean, I don't have to wear the puffy sleeves. I can always wear it with just a tucked in shirt, but I kind of like the puff sleeves. So I don't think that's too much. I mean, it's definitely a little different and I think I would want like a higher quality harness that just kind of Maybe almost like thicker straps, you know what I mean? Like some, a little bit more like fitted and thicker strapped. Um, but that's just comes down to the individual harness and the quality with which you buy. 
Um, the other thing that I like is kind of this black on black. It's subtler that way in that it only, like the black on black, it's not too high contrast. And so really what you have is almost like a texture contrast. Like I have this knit ribbed black bodysuit with this like, I mean, the, it's plastic leather, so it's not real leather. It's kind of shiny. And so it's more of like a texture play than it is anything else. Um, but I think this is kind of fun. I don't know, do you think you could wear this to an office with like a pair of heels? With a pair of heels, does this start to feel a little too like sexy librarian? <laughs> um, maybe not the vibe I'm going for in a workplace, but could be appropriate some other times. I don't know. Like I said, I don't, I don't want to go overly sexy. I want it to just feel like a belt or like a wallet or a purse or a hat or a scarf. I want it to be an accessory that I don't have to worry about the appropriateness of it in the sense of like, is it too sexy? Let me know if you think this is too sexy or not. I, I think it would be really fun to be able to wear a harness to work, but I'm just not really sure. All right, I'm gonna try one more thing and then we're done. So this is maybe like the, I don't, I, I'm not going to pretend like I am as cool as Sammy um, or anything, but I feel like this is probably the closest to a Sammy Jeffcoat um, outfit as I am likely to be able to pull off. Um, she just is not afraid of color and cool patterns and she's just really fun. She's fun with her fashion and I really appreciate that about her. So I think like the woman wears leopard print for sure and she often pairs it with like she'd probably wear like a super cool bralette or something like that um but i imagine her wearing a black bodysuit with one of her harnesses and like stacks of jewelry and her valentino platforms and her i don't know crazy patterned pants just looking amazing and probably a beret because she has like incredible style um this isn't anything super crazy either but this is definitely something that you could wear out and um i don't know like leopard print already kind of draws people's attention but the harness is just like taking it to the next level i think that's what sammy does so well she just really knows how to take outfits that we all already wear like you know jeans and a t-shirt but she just knows how to elevate it she just knows how to do it and um so this outfit is you know nothing groundbreaking again black bodysuit puffy sleeves um wide leopard print wide leg leopard print pant but the harness i think is that thing that elevates it if i had a pair of platform pumps i would probably wear those um but i could always wear these with my doc martens to give it a little bit more edge and then my leather jacket, not real leather also, so, you know, and I just feel a little bit more like Sammy, and also a little bit like me. Um, I wouldn't watch her and admire her so much if I didn't see some of her style or like aspire to some of her style. Not because I think she's cool and I want to be cool, but because I see something that I like and I gravitate towards in her style. And so she is just embodying a part of me in that way. Like I, I'm aspiring to her style because I see something of myself in it. Um, and so that's kind of what I say when I mean, um, like I admire and aspire to be as cool as Sam um, and to learn from her and to be inspired by her. So yeah, we'll end on my Sammy Jeffcoat inspired outfit. Um, not as cool as hers, but um, still something I really like wearing and I think I will get uh, some use out of. So I think the harness is gonna stay in my closet. I think I'm gonna give it a couple of months, see how I feel about it. And then I think come this fall or maybe this summer, if I'm really enjoying it still and finding that I'm incorporating it into my outfits more confidently and more easily, I think I'm gonna invest in one of hers because like I said in the beginning, she's just such a great source of inspiration and um, yeah, she's a real trailblazer in fashion, I think, so. 
I hope you enjoyed kind of going on this little playful journey with me today. Um, please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below letting me know what you liked, uh, what you didn't like. <laughs> I'm seriously interested in whether or not you think a harness is something you could wear in a more professional setting. Um, you know, I work in for a consulting firm, so uh, they're a little bit stuffy sometimes, but you know, who knows. Um, yeah, thank you so much for hanging out today for a little while and playing dress up with me. I'll see you in the next video.